All right, here we go. Welcome to Prehistoric Polka Life. I'm gonna use today's video to go through my childhood vintage Pokemon card collection. I've had all these cards originally started collecting in 99 when they first came out. Unfortunately, didn't get any of the first edition base sets, or not many of them anyways. You'll see a few of them in here. None of the big ones, unfortunately, but I got a lot of base set. What I'm gonna do first is go through my binder. This is the original binder that I've had since I was a kid. All these cards were in there up until a few weeks ago when I went through and organized everything and bought a bunch of sleeves and looked into how to best protect them for the future. So I got card savers for all my really good cards. Anyways, what I'm gonna do first is go through the binder, then I'll go through fossil, jungle, base set. These are all the commons and uncommons. And then all the rares, any holographics or generally more expensive cards. I put in card savers, also inside sleeves. So then this is the fossil, jungle, base set, and some later sets. Some of the more important cards that I wanted to preserve anyways in card savers. So I'll move these aside for now. I'll go through this binder pretty quick. I'm just doing this to document, mostly. So without further ado, here we go. You'll see that I took most of the cards out of here. I did keep a bunch of commons and uncommons, mostly they're my doubles, or the ones with, you know, pretty bad whitening conditions. So I'll just flip through them real quick, maybe I'll point out a couple here and there. But this is just to document what I have left in the binder. I ran out of sleeves, so I wasn't able to sleeve up everything. to the jungle now. Had a bunch of the EVs, so we kept one in there. I got lots of doubles for that set. I think probably fossil and jungle are what I collected the most as a kid. So I have lots of doubles. At least they're what I bought packs of the most anyways. Probably late 99 is when I really got into things. Got some Team Rocket. Some base set two cards. I think this is Gym Heroes and then Gym Challenge. You can see not a lot of cards from these eras. I had pretty much gotten out of it by then. Now this is Neo, Neo something, Neo Genesis maybe. I have one card from this later Neo set. All my energies. Kept them like this. I like being able to see them, so I put five on the front and four on the back. I guess that was just like creativity shining through or my OCD or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's got a bunch of Dragon Ball Z cards in there too, some Magic, Terminator. Got a few of these Tops Pokemon cards. Maybe I'll try and get them graded eventually, but they're not the Topps Chrome ones, so I don't think they're super expensive, but kind of cool that I still have them. Terminator cards. Random Joe Sackett card. I got two counters. I think that's from the two decks I bought when I was a kid, probably a jungle deck, and a, I think I got the fighting deck for the base set. That's why... Well, you'll see later what I have from that deck. That's the original. Yeah, let's pull that out, why not? Base set card list. I don't know what this came in. Jungle set, fossil set. Don't know where I got that. Probably one of these, I guess. 
I must have got the brush fire theme deck. That's where this came from, probably. You can see I collected quite a few of them. Maybe that's giving away something. Although I definitely didn't fill this in later on as I collected more cards, because I see some, some cards on here are missing. I didn't play the trading card game at all when I was a kid. Maybe a few times when I first got a few packs of cards, but really I just kept them in this binder. I didn't like playing with them. So I would play other games like Digimon and Magic or whatever else. And the winner would get Pokemon cards. So that's how I got some of the cooler ones in my collection. We'll just go through these fairly quick. Most of the ones I put in sleeves are in fairly good condition. Arbok, Ghastly, Golbat, Golduck, Golem, Graveler, Kingler, Magmar, Omastar, Seedra, Slowbro, Tentacruel, Weezing, Ekans, Geodude, Grimer, Horsey, Kabuto, Krabby, Omanite, Psyduck, Shelder, and Slowpoke. I don't have a full set for any of these, unfortunately, but I do have a fairly decent amount of each set. From Jungle, we got Butterfree, Executor, Pharaoh, Gloom, Lickitung, Marowak, Nidorina, Parasect, Persian, Primeape, Rapidash, Rhydon, Sea King, Tauros, Weepin' Bell, Bellsprout, Cubone, Eevee, Execute, Execute, Goldeen, Jigglypuff, Mankey, Meowth, Nidoran, Oddish, Paris, Pikachu, Pikachu, Rhyhorn, Sparrow, Venonat, and Pokeball. Keep in mind, these are the ones that weren't quite good enough to get into card savers. From base set, got Farfetch'd, Haunter, Machoke, Machoke, Poliwhirl, Porygon, Seal, Caterpie, Diglett, Doduo, Ghastly, Coughing, Coughing, Machop, Nidoran Male, Onyx, is that male? Yeah, that's Nidoran Male, Onyx, Poliwag, Ponyta, Rattata, Sandshrew, Starmie, Tangela, Voltorb, Vulpix, 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 Weedle, Energy Removal, Full Heal, Maintenance, Pokemon Center, Pokemon Flute, Pokedex, Professor Oak, Professor Oak, Super Potion, Bill, Energy Removal, Gust of Wind, Potion, Switch. Alright. Next up, we're going into the good ones. First I'll go through the cards that are from sets after Fossil and some other randoms, some promo cards. First up, we got a Dark Muck from Team Rocket. Fairly bad condition on that, but it's a first edition. One of my only first editions for some reason. We got Misty Staryu first edition, just a common, but it's first edition, so why not? Wigglytuff, base set two. That is a really nice looking card. There might be a small print line in the hollow, but generally real good condition. Scyther from base set two, also awesome condition. Couple little print lines maybe, but that's okay. P 
Holy Wrath, base set two. Looks pretty clean. This is a Mewtwo promo card. Pretty cool. They give these out at, I don't know, the Pokemon movies or various events. We'll go to Whitening in that corner. I'm gonna do a separate pre-grading video for 11 cards that I'm gonna send in. Five of which are these ones right here in my first CGC order. We got an unknown promo card. This one I have high hopes for. If it grades really well, that could be worth a lot of money. This is one of the cards that I'd be willing to sell to finance some further collecting. Anyways, it's in real great shape. There might be some cat hair or something on there, but... These are five really nice cards. But without further ado, let's get into the original three sets. First, we'll do our fossils. You can go pretty quick through these ones because I'm going to go from back to front. So we've got 30 out of 62 first. The Zapdos Rare, non hollow. Moltres, non hollow. Hitmonlee, first edition, non hollow. We had a Haunter, non hollow. Dragonite, non hollow. Ditto, non hollow. Articuno. Now we're getting into the hollows. These are the good ones. First, we've got the Raichu, number 14 out of 62. Some scratches and creases on that one. Not in great shape, so that won't be one of my first graded cards, but it's still cool to have. Lapras. Kabutops. Most of my hollows are in pretty good shape. Some whitening and nicks here and there, but for a 12, 13, 14 year old kid who then kept his cards for the rest of his life, I'd say they look pretty good. We got one Gengar, two Gengars. One of them's really nice, the other one not so much. That's the better one here. Gradable. This is my real nice one, Dragonite. I actually bought this one. I bought six cards for 150 bucks a couple months ago. This was the prize out of all of them. I've got high hopes for this card. Um, that hollow is very clean. So I'm hoping to get at least, you know, a CGC 9. I'm going with CGC because PSA's closed its doors, of course, to the lower grading tiers. So that's one of my really nice ones. I've got an Articuno Hollow, pretty scratched up. Nice card though. And I've got the Aerodactyl Hollow from Fossil, number one out of 62. I really like this card. It's pretty clean. Okay, that's it for Fossil. Next we've got Jungle. Pikachu first edition from Jungle. It's a pretty beat up card, but I put it in a card saver because that's a first edition Pikachu. Pretty cool. First edition Mankey, also beat up. 
first edition Eevee. Fairly good condition. Vile Plume, first edition, non hollow. Victory Bell, Venomoth, Pinsir. Mr. Mime, Flareon, Clefable. Now we're into the hollows. Vile Plume, pretty creased up, not great condition. Number 15 out of 64. Victory Bell, much better condition. We got actually one, two, three Vaporeons, if you can believe it. We've got two in really good condition and one in not so great condition. There must be something in the card. That's the, the bad condition one. You can see all the scratches on it. These ones are better. I think that's dust in. No, that was on top. One, two, three. One of these I'll get graded. Actually, I might get two of these graded. We got a Pidgeot. Not very great condition. Cool card. And the Electrode. Okay, that's it for jungle. I definitely want to finish these sets one day. But for now, it's amazing just having all these from childhood. Can't believe how crazy the Pokemon card market has gotten in the last year through the pandemic. I should have went through my cards and got them graded way at the beginning of this. I'd be a rich man right now, but that's okay. One day. Okay, so this is everything from the base set. I'll go through them one at a time. Pokemon Trader, Imposter Professor Oak, Devolution Spray, Clefairy Doll, Squirtle. These are mostly gonna be all unlimited cards. That one's not in the greatest condition, but I still got it. Ratata, Shadowless, poor condition. Ponyta, Shadowless. Pikachu. Pretty good condition on that unlimited Pikachu. Might be grade worthy in the future. Machop, Shadowless. Another Shadowless Machop. Diglett, Shadowless. Charmander. Got a number of these actually. I think I probably have. Yep, yeah, I got four of them. And a Bulbasaur that completes the base set starter Pokemon. Basic types, basic Pokemon stages, that is. Only have the one Bulbasaur and the one Squirtle, but that's okay. Got four Charmanders, which was always my favorite, anyways. Abra, Shadowless, War Turtle, Ivysaur. Another Ivysaur. Dugong, Shadowless. And I've got, I think, yep, three Charmeleons. 
That's all three stage ones of the starter Pokemon for base set. Arcanine, Shadowless, Electrode, getting into the rares now. Dragonair, Zapdos, and we're into the holographics now, you can see. That's a pretty good card. Bit of scratching on it. Yeah, I should really look at through the light that way. Some of the scratchings on the card savers. So when I do send cards into grade, I'll take them out of all their sleeves, give them a close look on the camera, clean them up a little bit, and then get them ready for packaging and grading. This one looks pretty rough on the back. Can you guess what it is? My one and only Venusaur. Very rough condition. I definitely won this one from somebody back in the day. Because I never would have... If I pulled a card from a pack, it never would have ended up creased like that. But still glad to have that in my possession from childhood. We have Polyrath. Pretty good condition. We've got nine tails. Nido King. Bunch of whitening on that one. These lower quality ones I'm going to keep in my own collection ungraded pretty much forever. Mewtwo. I'll only grade a card if I have doubles of it and I'll grade the highest quality one that I can see. So I can sell the more expensive one and, you know, keep the beat up ones. They've got really high sentimental value for me. Anyways, I've got two Magnetons. The one on the right I think is better. The one, this one is pretty scratched up, you can see. That one's better. There's the Machamp, first edition symbol, but of course with the shadow there, so unlimited. Hitmonchan. These are the last three cards. What do you think they are? Getting to the front of the pack of our base set cards here, so let's look at them all together. One, two, three. That's right, we've got two Chanseys and the Chase card himself. This is my childhood Charizard. You can see a bunch of scratches, but it's actually not bad. I think it might grade better than a one. What do you think? I'm not gonna grade it right away. Maybe I'll never grade it. If I can get a Blastoise, that's the only starter Pokemon from base set in any of the evolutions that I don't have is the Blastoise. So I've gotta get one of those in fairly poor condition so that I can have all nine of them on display somewhere in my house. They don't need to be graded. Just want to keep them forever. But hopefully I'll be able to pick up another Charizard one day and get it graded. One of these Chanseys is really good quality. Not that one. This one's pretty, pretty good. The foil on these is infamous for having manufacturer's lines, print lines. I don't know. There's little something up there, but it might just be part of the hollow design. It might be a scratch. Either way, I am hopeful that this card will grade quite high. It's hard to grade the chances apparently because there's so much light colored foil on the front. But to me, the centering looks great front and back. There's Almost no whitening around the edges. I don't know if you can see any. Tiny spot up there, maybe.
any spot down there hardly anything i'm thinking cgc 9.5 on this anyways let's grab some of my favorite cards here I'm not going for condition just going for general cool factor this is gonna be my cover shot right there let's do it something like yep that's it there's the cover shot the thumbnail for this video Well, there it is. That's my vintage Pokemon card collection. 99.9% .9 of which I've had since I was a kid for over 20 years. Six of them I bought fairly recently. These five I've had for 20 years. Aerodactyl might be one of my favorite original Pokemon, but that card isn't very powerful. It does have the word prehistoric on it. Pokemon power, prehistoric power. So that's going to be my... That's going to be my emblem right there for this channel. Prehistoric Poke Life is going to be an Aerodactyl holo card. The first one from the Fossil set. I think Fossil came out in 2000. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.